The last thing I'd like to cover before really starting on Markowitz portfolio theory is the normal distribution and how important it is that we assume that the returns on risky assets follow a normal distribution. So we had a look at the expected value and standard deviation of returns, but we did so basically um, under the assumption of a discrete distribution. Simply to get the idea across, I basically said there are a certain number of possible returns and each one has a certain probability of occurring. And you may have noticed that that's not very realistic. The return you get on a risky asset could be virtually anything. It has a almost unlimited range of values it could take. You can't say it's going to be either 4 or 8 or 12 percent. It could be 3.75629 or 7.25823. There could be a massive number of different numbers, right? So it's really not feasible to try and go through and give, you know, to round up a massive number of possible returns and give each one a probability. That would just be ridiculous. So under the assumption of a discrete distribution, we said that the probability of the return equaling any given number, we'll just use R1 to indicate a possible return value, which is a constant, whereas R here is the variable. We say that this equals some constant that we'll just denote P. And we say